Hello everyone, and welcome back to Killer7, welcome back to Isk Land, Ishikawa Land, this beautiful amusement park, see Ishikawa Land, no, I'm sorry, I, I, have I been calling it Ishikawa Land? It's Ishizaka Land, Ishizaka, Isk, Isk Land, we've been here trying to find Curtis Blackburn, trying to find this man who is kidnapping the kids, we ha we're doing this for the kids. It's like Mask says, children are pure, they know who's the strongest, Curtis is not the strongest. Mask, last time, proved he was the strongest by busting down this wall. So let's continue on and find the nefarious Mr. Blackburn as we enter the Adventure Plaza. Since now we're done with the Isk String Quartet, now we can go on the rides. Like, like Awazaru wanted us to do, except the Protector Z smile is blocking the rides. Now, the Protector smile, the normal Protector smile, you have to kill him by using the grenade launcher. That's not working on Protector Z. We have to, we need more flame. We have to charge. Adios. Like that. Mask does has char have charge attacks, and we can use them to kill the Protector smiles. We have eggs rolling at us. We can see when we scan that there are mother smiles hanging out. Uh, let's see. Let's try Kev. We haven't used him yet in this level. <laughs> Shine sparkling. What's Kev's difference? I think he's wearing different sunglasses this time. He's also wearing a black belt. So I think that's the difference. Oh. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, but now we can see invisibility. Kevin is now invisible. Whoop, he was not invisible for long. Go forward, Kev, please. Anyway. You might have you might have noticed that for a second there, when we were invisible, the mother whoops, the mother smile did not actually see us and stopped coming. But it did not last long at all. And uh, I actually did that accidentally. I didn't mean to use invisibility. All right, what do we got here? Well, we know what we have here. We do have a soul shell. We have one. Is that enough for the gate man? No, we do not have enough soul shells for the gate man. He will not let us through, so... We need to just get out, keep going around the amusement park until we find more soul shells. That's all we can do. <laughs> and I am going to have to get Dan out. Since... Oh, I didn't mean to do that again. Actually, can I run past that mother? Yeah, I can. Okay. I just ran past it. I'm invisible. Let's go into the killer mansion. So sometimes the invisibility can be useful. And Wazaru, what does he have to say about the killer mansion? Nawazru certainly thinks a lot of himself. Check out his face from the front, not the profile. What's this map about? Okay, the, the killer Ted mansion. I don't know who Ted is, but he's a killer and we're in his mansion. There's a soul shell at the center of it. We have to find that soul shell. There's a door of a back of a heaven smile. 
I'm just in the same place that we were when we came in. <laughs> That's a profile. And Wazaru said that we should be looking at the front. Let's see if we can find any pictures from the front. <laughs> Wazru telling us about his narcissism, but also giving us a little clue. Now we're in the second ring. So we need to find the doors showing heaven smiles from their front. Enemy slow. Look at that. Look how slow he is. So that one can come in useful. Why am, I, why am I not hitting? There we go. Okay, I guess his, maybe his animation wasn't done, so his weak point wasn't activating. I'm going to guess that's what happened there. Oh, so slow. Oh, no. I don't use Kevin that much. So we haven't really been seeing too much of his abilities. Did I get that? Eh. I feel like I should be able to get that, but maybe his slow animation was making it not happen. <laughs> Pity that... The, the damage of the knives doesn't build up in the slow animation so he like gets hit multiple times at once <laughs> ah. stop respawning please it's just taking way too long to kill you and you keep respawning right away alright there we go <laughs> All right, that's front facing. Let's go on inside. And we are within another ring, up on another floor. Oh, <laughs> uh, well that guy, Kevin can't handle this. Only one man can, and that is the main event. Now we're at the top of Killer Ted's mansion. Whoever that is, I don't know who it is. Well, we can't just walk up there. We would need to jump. And we know who can do that. The master of trespassing himself. Hey, Travis. What's going on? And we actually get something from Travis for talking with him. He was holding a soul shell. Usually we don't get anything from him. He's just, you know, pure information. But this time we did get an item. And uh, that is something for being a black market organ trader 
for that to be your public face. That's not what you're trying to keep from the public. Your private life is something different altogether. Tra- Curtis lives with all girl orphans, and uh, Pedro apparently is the person who gets him the orphans. We'll learn a little bit more about this whole relationship later on. We've changed into Garcian for some reason. The only thing we can really do is take a sit in... It's not a sofa. It's just a chair. It's like a one-person seat. We'll sit in it, though. Can you have a one-person sofa? Does it count as a sofa if only one person fits in it? I don't know about that. So this is kind of a weird thing, and it's actually kind of a trap in that it changes you to Garcian, because we're not done with the level. We have plenty of level to go. So I'm just going to go in here and change back to someone else, because we should not be Garcian right now. I don't know why it changes us to him. We'd have problems if we, would, if we tried to continue the level as Garcian. We, we would not be able to make it very far because of the Protector Z smiles and the Mother smiles and not being able to change to anyone else. Maybe the game... I think the game is trying to trick you into playing as Garcian here because you just have to go back to this room and switch to someone else. All right. Oh my God. What? what did you... Okay, then. All right, so I want to level up Khan to level four. Of course, I can only do that twice. These two I cannot as of yet. And I'm going to switch. To this is a bad time. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Or am I? Not interrupting anything at all. I'm going to pick Dan because I believe that there are... If I'm, I think that there are, du there are mother smiles outside. If I remember that right. I think they're still there. They were there the first time. Pretty sure they're still there. What's he dressed like in this level? Can't get a look at him. He's just kind of wearing just a normal white shirt and a black tie. It's pretty ordinary, pretty plain, but Dan's never been very flashy. Yeah, they're still here. Tried to do the counterattack. I guess I did not hit the button in time. <laughs> that eh, that won't make me. In, that won't get to me in time. I think that should be fine. <laughs> Hey, Trav, what do you have to say about the Freaky Funhouse? Cheating? Come on, Travis. We have a mask, we should use it. But first, let's see what happens. If we don't have a mask, is it just not going to let us in the house? We don't have what it takes to enter. That's correct. It's just not going to let us in. I guess the idea of the amusement park is that you're going to need to buy a souvenir mask in order to enter the Freaky Fun House. And who wouldn't want to enter the Freaky Fun House? That seems like kind of a scam. Anyway, here we are. 
Freaky Funhouse. Let's read the information. The rest of the locks are for kids. All right. Well, Mask is no child. What's the map to this one look like? And eh, there's a few parts of the Freaky Fun House. We're only in a, the first hallway of it. <laughs> Let's change. I haven't used Kaede yet. So those are phantom smiles. Is this the first time that we're seeing them as normal enemies? I think the only time we saw them before was when one was a mini boss, but you could see that some one of them had a big head and the other ones had big hands. So you have to shoot the big body parts or else they'll explode. Kaede in this level is wearing a purple dress, but can she get through the child entrance? She cannot get through the child entrance. It's just too much. How is Kaede supposed to get through that? No one could get through that. Unless maybe... Khan just might be small enough to get through. He did it. Khan managed to get through the child entrance. How could he have possibly have done it? But he did. Let's go into the loop-the-loop. I guess only children are allowed in here. No parents. Children, please come and enter the maze of hell. Let's do, let us do that. What does the map say about the maze of hell? Look, it's not that much of a maze, really. But we have to be aware of where the exit might be. It might try to fool us. Fuck you. Because we just run around in a loop forever if we didn't notice this. Only kids are allowed in the maze of hell. But you will need grenade launchers to exit it. <laughs> well, I think someone's just respawning. I don't think there's anyone in front of me. All right. What does it say? Pummel those rats to bits as we enter the squeakers attack. Let's pummel those squeakers. Those squeakers won't know what hit them. <laughs> <laughs> There's a big thing of cheese in the middle. I mean, you noticed it. I didn't need to tell you that, that there was a big thing of cheese in the middle. But what does it mean? Should we enter burning hot hell? No, we cannot, because the squeakers, they are here, and we have to pummel them. Let's shoot, let's kill those squeakers. Gonna have to wait for this to, like, go around, so I can actually see the squeakers. They're going to appear in these holes. I got that, Squeaker. <laughs> but Heaven Smiles will keep respawning. Hurts, doesn't it? Kill these Squeakers. Pummel them bits. So, Squeaker attack. We could do it like this. This is one way of doing it. But you know, there's a much more efficient way to handle the squeakers. There we go. We did it. So you can do it either way. You can just shoot them out individually if you want, and then it'll open the door. Or you can just blow it up, blow up the cheese. Anyway, we're in burning hot hell. What is the info on this one? 
we're gonna have to cross the Bridge of Doom. Which is on fire. I wonder how the kids handle this. Well, what can we do about flame? We got some rings. A couple things that might handle flame, like wind or water. Either one of those will actually do it. There we go. <laughs> but across the bridge are going to come some broken smiles. Like I said, I hate them. I really do not like the broken smiles. There we go. Got it. I actually have no idea how you're supposed to kill hit, hit the weak spot. I don't know how you're supposed to do it. Like, what is the, what is the intended way of killing the broken smiles? I honestly have no idea. So the ceramic smile, as uh, that kid has mentioned to us many times, he gives us hints about the next boss to come up. <laughs> he tells us that the ceramic smile is as dumb as cement. We have to banish the demonic gorillas. I always knew we would have to. They're talking about these gorillas. We have to banish them. Well, if we're doing target practice, the one to do this is obvious. <laughs> That's it. We're doing it. Keep doing it. Of course, you could do this with any character, but it's easiest with Kaede. Well, I guess you couldn't do it with Mask, probably. That probably wouldn't work. We did it. We banished all of the gorillas. The mouths open, and the lock has been released. All right. Well, we've been to the Freaky Fun House. We have not been to the Spinny Spinny. Do you want to go to the spinny spinny? Of course you do. <laughs> okay, the ceramic smile, he's going to run around this loop, and we could chase him, but chasing him is a mistake because he runs faster than us, so really what we need to do is... Hurts, doesn't it? We needed to do that. His weak point was on his chest. So if we just wait here, he runs around right into us. Then then that's yeah, so that's what happens. The ceramic smile, I guess, was dumb as cement. And here's an angel uh that's appeared to us, so we're gonna talk to it. Demon Gun has been revived, says the angel. And also Soul Shell. So Demon Gun is a new gun for Dan. It has a different appearance. It is bigger. I'm not honestly sure what the difference is. 
in terms of how it works. I haven't really noticed one. Maybe it's a difference in power. But on, I'm actually not sure how the, the demon gun differs. It looks cool, but I haven't noticed in terms of gameplay it having much of a difference from the original gun. But anyway, we have now done... There's someone standing there. We've now done these two attractions. And we have got, let's see, yeah, we got two soul shells from it. Three in total. <laughs> so, since we've done that, why don't we head? Hmm? Well, someone's coming. I don't see where it is. <laughs> Bastard. As I was saying, <laughs> let's head. I hear someone coming, so let's just run in here. Or rather, we could run into the Harmon's room to begin with, or first of all, so we can drop off some blood. So yeah, we've gotten three soul shells. So let's head back to the... Oh, well that didn't take long. Let's head back to the gatekeeper and see if we have enough to satisfy the gatekeeper. See if he'll let us through. And see what's on the other side. You know, it's been a little while since we've seen the gatekeeper. He wasn't in Cloud Man. And he also was not in the Kaku building. The last time we saw the gatekeeper was in Restaurant Fukushima. I think. I think that's right. So he is making a return in this level. And we return to the Colosseum, this very large outdoor, lot large room where you can see the outdoors through those windows. We go in one of the doors, and we're going to head to a boss. This kid seems quite disillusioned with adults, saying that they are the suck. And you can kind of, it's kind of, I guess the phrase kind of dates the game a little bit. But, let's see what he was talking about as we go through the Vinculum Gate. Something about a hero, a fighter of justice, but was actually a monster inside. All right, we got the Mithril Smile. Now, he's covered in armor, and you know, we could try to blow off the armor. We could do it. But there's not really a reason to do it. His weak point was outside the armor. Alright. 
we're almost at the end of this level as we've gone through the Ishizaka Ishizaka amusement park. What does Travis have to say as we are about to exit? So maybe Pedro framed Dan, and that was the reason that he was killed by Curtis? Possibly. I'm just going to head into this Harmon's room right here, because this should be a save room. I'm going to do this, because, unlike with all the other bosses that i fought so far, I might, I might need to save here. Oh, that's right, I need to talk to Samantha to save. I might need to do this because this fight is what I think is probably the toughest boss fight in the game, even though we're only in the middle of the game. Something about lights. We need lights. Let's head out into the parking lot. Oh, there's someone here waiting for us. That doesn't look like Curtis, though. I'm sure she's friendly. Okay, Yami Blackburn. So, she runs really... Oh, there she goes. She runs really fast and fires an Uzi. I think that's what that is. Let's heal myself, because I just took some damage. And she's going to do a, a good deal of damage when she shoots me, even though I'm wearing the stamina ring. So she's going to run around this parking lot. She's only visible when she's under the light. And you only, can only hit her when she's in the light. I'm going to wait for her to run down this and try to shoot her right around here. All right. So as time goes on, she's going to get faster and faster. I can try to take pot shots at her at different places, but this is the main place to shoot her at. M uh, yeah, missed. The problem with missing, yep, yeah, is that if I miss, then that's going to give her the opening to shoot her gun. If I can actually keep shooting her, then she'll never actually fire herself. Just again. Mm. Oh, got her that time. So she wasn't fully opaque when I shot her there. She was slightly see-through. I guess you can shoot her when she's not directly under the light. Whether or not she's going to hit you with her gun really depends on where you're standing. I'm not sure if there's even really a, a, a reason to move here in this fight. Since she covers the entire parking lot so quickly, 
it seems like really the only thing to do is just stand in one place and then wait for her to come to you. Ah. Alright, I'm almost dead. I could heal myself, but I'm gonna now change the mask. I increased the range of his grenade launchers earlier. So if I can't shoot her, if I can't pinpoint it, maybe I can just shoot in her general direction. Okay, I got her. Ah! Mm, Mr. That Time. Oh, I didn't actually expect that hitter there. That range is powerful. Oh, you see how fast she's getting now. Yeah, this is why... I increased the range on these grenade launchers because of how fast she's going now. It would be really difficult to actually hit her with a gun. And she's actually shooting even though I'm hitting her. On normal difficulty, she doesn't really do that. She stops shooting for a while when you hit her. I guess on deadly, she just keeps on shooting regardless. But the more she gets hurt, the faster she goes. And well, that's it for her. If you're looking to play doubles, go find someone else, all right? Do I look like a guy who wants to play doubles? Uh, 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 oh. So Encounter Part 1 had a very abrupt ending as we encounter not Curtis, but someone else altogether. Curtis wasn't there. He was at that fitness club having a chat with Pedro, Pedro Montana, who now we've seen. We we heard we heard his name spoken in this chapter. So now we've actually seen the guy. And it seems that Curtis is not it seems like Curtis is not it seems like Curtis is not it seems like Curtis is not pleased with Pedro with Pedro. And it seems that we failed in our mission. We were supposed to take out uh, Curtis. We didn't find him. We found Ayame. And even though we defeated Ayame, she got on a bus and we could hear the sounds of children on the bus. And she drove away with them. Where to? Well, she said her name she said her name was Ayami Blackburn. So it does seem that she's with Curtis. So maybe maybe we should have stopped her from driving off with a busload of children, considering we know considering we know what Curtis does to them. Right now we are just going to head into Harmon's room. And we are going to save our game.
And now that we've saved, next time, we are going to head into Encounter Part 2. But before we do any actual gameplay, we're going to see what happens in that meeting between Curtis and Pedro at the fitness club and see what Curtis might want with Pedro. Why he is pointing a gun at him and why there seem to be a whole lot of dead bodies in the background of that scene. We're going to see that. And then we are going to go to Curtis's house to track him down directly. And uh, we're going to see if Dan has maybe some unfinished business with Mr. Blackburn, and maybe that will get uh, maybe that will get resolved when we encounter when we when we encounter encounter part two. See, we're encountering the chapter which is called Encounter, the second part of which we are encountering next time on Killer Seven. I'll see you then. Wow, this place is strange. I know why you made this place. You use the prototype plans. Don't play them. I figured it out. The future? Yeah, it might not be reliable down to the last detail, but it's information worth a million dollars. Interested? Aren't you concerned about the future at all? Well, guess what? I'm another man with a prototype plan. Let me explain it to you. 